So, you've never used Unity before. Not a problem. Now, for this series, I am gonna assume that you are coming from Blender as a modeler or an animator or really any other 3D software. Once you've downloaded Unity, if you go to the hub and create a new project, you will find yourself at this window. Now, even if this is your first time using Unity, you might notice that it feels a little familiar. And that is because Unity 3D is designed to be comfortable for people who use 3D software. So, the main menu is very similar to how things look in Blender. You know how every time you click on something in Blender, all of its characteristics show up on the right side under properties? Well, it's the same thing in Unity. Every time you click on something in the game, all of its characteristics will pop up over here on the right. In Unity, this area is called the Inspector. The same way that you can see a list of everything in your scene under the Layers tab in Blender, in Unity, you can see a list of everything in your scene under the Hierarchy. The game window shows you what the player or the camera would see, but the scene is the normal developer view, where you can drag in and move all your objects around. You can also use the industry standard hotkey of W, E, and R to quickly switch between move, rotation, and scale. And just like in Blender, you can drag these windows around and customize your view. To control the camera, middle click the pan, alt left click to rotate the camera, and to zoom in and out, alt right click or scroll up and down. To focus on an object, left click and press F. At the bottom here is where you navigate through all the assets used to create the game. Now I'm assuming that since you're coming from Blender, you've probably already created some 3D stuff which you would like to put into your game. So the first thing that I recommend you do is go down here in the assets area, right click and create a new folder for all your 3D stuff. All right, so how exactly do you get your stuff from Blender into your game? Well, if you have an unrigged 3D object, you export it as an OBJ. But if you have a rigged or an animated 3D object, the most common way is to export it as an FBX. And make sure that you send your objects into your 3D stuff folder in Unity. If you have textures, drag those in too. If you are using procedural or non-UV mapped textures, make sure that you bake those into texture maps before you drag them in. Now, just like in Blender, you have to use materials to put textures onto your object. So, if in Blender your object had two materials, in Unity you will find that your object has two slots for materials. Now, to create materials for your textures in Unity, right click, create, material, drag your map onto the material, and if you ever want to duplicate something, you just press Control D. Then left click and drag that material onto your model. And you're done. That's really all you need to know before you're ready to start coding, which we will start doing next video. In the meanwhile, as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.